Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Goofy Grandpa time. How are you? How are you, my boys and girls? How you been? We have an exciting episode this week. I tell you, we got the most exciting episode. That So I got to start off by saying I feel great. I feel great. Friday, I went to my doctor. I have my annual physical. He checked me out. I got nothing. I got no coronary. I got no sugar. I got no anything or no infestations. I got nothing. Uh, there was one red flag, though. He was up there probing around with a finger, checking out my prostate. He was up there for about 15 minutes. And I heard him say, oh, uh -oh what's this? And I said, wait a minute, doc. I want a second opinion. And he stuck another finger in there and he said, after a minute or so, he said, op, op, don't worry, uh, nothing. Uh, it was a false alarm. Okay, so I'm perfectly fine. I'm in fit, fiddle, and health. And we got, we like I said, we got a great episode today. So we are jumping right to the end of the alphabet. We are jumping right to the letter T today. There's so many exciting things with the letter T. I wanted to go right to the end instead of working my way up to it. You know what I'm saying, boys and girls? So today is the letter T, and here we go. I am ready to take off with the letter T. T makes the sound t t t t t t t t t Okay, letter T. First word. First word, boys and girls. Tea bag. Tea bag. You know what that is, boys and girls? Tea bag. It looks like one of these, but what I want you to do, boys and girls, is I want you to grab a hold of your mommy later on, and I want you to ask her if she's if your dad has ever teabagged her, okay? And if the answer is yes, I want you to tell her to call 1-800-FOR-GOOFY-G. I want you to have her call me. Grandma's going to visit her. Sister Rose in Milwaukee in June for a couple weeks, and Grandpa needs a little something to keep him busy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, enough of that, enough of that. Okay, next word, next word, letter T, letter T. This is a fun word, this is a fun, funny word. Testicles, testicle, yes, testicle. You might have heard that word. Isn't that a funny word? Don't that sound like something that you get on an ice cream truck, walk up and you say, uh, can I have a frozen banana and two good humor testicles? And that's, that's a good one. But seriously, seriously, testicles. Um, I've been thinking a lot about my mortality lately with everything going on. And uh, I do not want uh, the, the government to get a hold of my $643 in my savings account if something ever happened to me. So, to take care of grandma, I went online, I went to, I went to legalroom.com and I filed my last will and testicle of Goofy Grandpa. Yes, my last will and testicle. I, Goofy Grandpa, being sober for at least 20 minutes, while I filled out this form, do hereby declare that this is my last will and testicle, nullifying any other previous testicles. I leave all my worldly belongings to the love of my life. Sign, Goofy Grandpa, today's date. I'm all set. If something happens to me, she's all set. I tell you. So... I have to tell you this, boys and girls. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to, um, this is this next part here is for your daddies. This is a lesson for your daddies to, to go into. So I want you to go find your daddy, bring him to the bring him to our episode here, and uh, leave the room. And I just want to talk to the daddies. But in the meantime, while you're doing that. I'm going to have a little quick commercial break while you're doing, give you a minute or two to do that. So here's a commercial break. Here's a T word. You got toilet paper, toilet paper, T, toilet paper, okay? Go get your daddies and bring them back in, okay? We'll go to a commercial. Hi, 
I'm Goofy Grandpa, inventor of my clean ass. And just like you, I had problems wiping. Two months ago, I invented my clean ass toilet paper. It's made right here in the U.S. from the finest quality toilet paper materials. My passion is to make sure you get the best wipe possible and don't have swamp ass. I sell my toilet paper with a one-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Don't be sending back any used stuff. Order now and use the promo code MYASSAINTCLEAN and I'll send you six rolls of the softest toilet paper you had ever used. And if you order in the next 10 minutes, I will send you my patented adjustable reach-around tool to get those difficult to get spots. And I'll send it to you for free. Just pay the shipping and handle it. So get yours today. My clean ass. For the best damn wipe in the whole wide world, visit mycleanass.com. That's it, commercial. We finally got ourselves a sponsor. Okay, I see a lot of daddies out there. I see a lot of daddies. Okay, you're gonna want to pot. You're gonna want to tune into this one, boys, because Grandpa's got. He's got an excellent idea. I tell you. Okay, so here's my idea. We all been cooped up. We all been cooped up for uh, many weeks now. Many weeks now, and I keep seeing. I'm looking outside, and every once in people are getting out, and I'm seeing things on TV. And what what I've been seeing a lot lately is I've been seeing the women folk out with the kids, out to get some fresh air, wandering through the neighborhood. And I've been seeing some things on TV that what people is doing is they're taking, they're taking and putting things in the window for the kids to find. Teddy bears and rainbows and stuff like that. And then it's the kids find them and they come home and they say, yeah, I found six teddy bears and and uh, whatnot. So, <laughs> I've been thinking a little something to get the men out of the house. Because you know you want to get out of the house. You've been cooped up. You've been told everything, all projects to do. You probably got every single project that you had on the list for about three years all done in the last couple months. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I propose. I'm going to reach out to my friend Donald J., Letter T. We're working on the letter T today. Contact my friend Donald Trump and have him write a consecutive order to make Tuesdays, to declare Tuesdays from now on Titties in the window day. Yes, my, yes, ma. I tell you, titties in the window. How great would that be? Every Tuesday night at six o'clock, all able-bodied women put the titties in the window. Right? Wouldn't that be great? I tell you, I know that there's a neighbor lady's titties that you would love to see. There's about four or five of them in my neighborhood that I would love to see, boy, <laughs> i tell you. So, to make things even more interesting, because I know you boys have been away from sports and no football and baseball and no fantasy, fantasy hockey and all that kind of stuff. You can't gamble. You got no gambling going on. Because how can you bet on a nine-year-old uh, NBA championship game that you know who the winner's going to be, and that's all I got on TV. So, here's what I propose we do on Tuesdays while we're looking for titties in the neighborhood. I say that we have a sweepstakes, and we have find the titties in the window fantasy sweepstakes, and this is the official scorecard. Yes, the object is you go out looking for titties, and when you find them, you put down, you put a check mark here, and you get points for every different size titty that you get, right? So you got your small ones, you got your A's and your double A's and your triple A titties. Those are the small ones. Those are the one-pointers. I call those the battery titties. And then you got your B's. as worth 25 points, 5 points, 5 points for the B's, 25 points for the C's, and then 50 points for the D's. 
But if you find anything bigger than a double K, you get 200 goddamn, you get, you get 200 goddamn points for that. Look at that. Isn't that a great idea? You get yourself points, and the idea is the one each week that gets the most points will win the prize, win half of the money, right? So, and let me tell you one more thing you could do while you're out there. Snap some pictures. Get some pictures and put it on your Instagram thing, right? With the hashtag. With the hashtag. I'm on a titty hunt, right? <laughs> and, or hashtag, I found some titties. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes, we could. I bet you that would be a popular Instagram site. So, how do you get this? How do you get this? Well, it's it's a fee, of course, every gambling is a fee. Fifty dollars each week. Fifty bucks. You log yourself into my website, www.findthemnartittiesfantasysweepstakes.com. You log in there, you sign up, you get yourself your official titty scoring scorecard, and you're all set. You are all set, and each week I will announce the winner on my Instagram account, and I'll be I'll be counting the cash uh, for that. So that is our lesson for today. That is our exciting thing. And boy, I tell you, once we start doing this, you're gonna want this quarantine to keep going on for if every Tuesday night is titties in the window day. <laughs> I tell you. So I always end my. Sessions with a little public service announcement, and this is to remind everyone, everyone, when you're out in public, anywhere, wear a mask. And I have one here. I made it out of my, my clean-ass toilet paper. It's my mask here. It, three or four fold-overs, and I got myself a mask to protect myself from the elements on the outside. So, boys... Tell your children I see them next week. Sorry to make them go away, but this wasn't for them. And uh, have a great day and take care of yourself.